This is a showcase on my custom DC Comics Black Manta. This is a quick little project I did. Uh, I ended up getting a extra Black Panther that's using the new uh, Vulcan style body. I got it off Amazon, I think, for like seven, eight bucks. It was on sale. And I had these black DCUC Black Manta parts in my fodder bin. I ended up getting a Black Manta on eBay. It was one of those things where I only had a few seconds to look at it. Was auctions getting ready to end? It was like I noticed it was really cheap. It's like, hey, I'll grab a Black Manta. When I got it, I noticed it had two left legs. I was like, man. <laughs> When he took the the guy took the pictures, he had actually twisted the leg around where it's pointing forward, and is clear in the pictures, but I just didn't catch it. So, my bad on that part. But use that for excuse to build me a new black manta. It's a more articulated body, and I really like how this thing turned out. Of course, I said like it is the new Black Panther body. Uh, I painted up the gray areas. I didn't say swapping out. I just ended up just painting the the gray areas uh, black. It actually great, adds a little bit to the cost, costume. You got a little extra sculpted detail. You got the lines there. Same with the boots. I swapped out the feet. Give them like a. Uh, I think these came off of like a havoc or another figure like that. The hands, or the grip hands, are from the Bone Breaker torsos I get with the Vulcans. I uh, just. I uh, sand it down the joints, paint these up black. So I have a set of, nice set of grip hands. And the trident, the gun, the helmet, the neck piece, and the backpacks all from the DCUC Black Manta figure. I have the extra sort of hands. These are some Black, uh, black Panther uh, open splay hands from an, a different Black Panther figure. I think it was like the black and pink one from Walmart. Uh, I think, actually, I think it might be the word I've got the feet from. Now I think about it. And I got a set of fist hands from that same figure. Had to do a little bit of modifications to the collar piece to get to sit down onto the Marvel Legends style. It's, where it's had a dremel out to curve through the neck piece. And drill out to, like the head a little bit to fit the bigger ball joint. But I actually still have full range of movement. You can look all around, up and down. Everything's good there. So of course it's got the butterfly joints now and much better proportion, uh, much better body than the DC UC bodies. The DC body UC bodies were fine for the time, but uh, a lot of them could be used to update. That might be something I'll start doing, doing some more DC customs since I like this scale range. I don't much care for the seven inch uh, McFarlane stuff. Uh, I like the 6.5 scale that's Marvel Legends and DCUC, so I might have to do a few more of these. Uh, the backpack, I end up drilling a hole in the back, inserting and gluing in place, and everything's, nothing's hindered, everything moves just fine, and I'm gonna have a nice, easy update for Black Manta. That's about all there is to this one. Remember to like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all next time.